Want a little puppy? No, I got it. Yeah. I've set up like a preparing area for me there. And sometimes my mom or siblings help me, but I'm the one whose job it is to feed everyone. But I don't mind it. I actually like it a lot. And I've really gotten good at it because I've done it for most of my life. Are Ken and Alexis coming over? They, they said they were. I've always been around food and it's been a big part of my life since I was young. It's how I spend time with my family when we cook and eat together. And it's been how I show them I care when I prepare it for them. And when you make it with care and love, it can be a wonderful thing. Hello. Hey. Hello, strangers. Hey. I enjoy the feeling of feeding others. Y'all got here just in time and watching them enjoy the food. So I do feel like I have a special connection with food, but I do like eating too. Good morning, Angel. How many eggs do you want? Food has always been a comfort and like an escape for me. It never failed to make me happy. After I finish eating, I have a feeling of satisfaction. I feel good, I feel full, and I'm happy. You know, rain or shine, food will be food. Eggs will be eggs. Chocolate's gonna be chocolate. It's the only constant in my life, and it's just always been there for me. So food is just a big part of my whole life. But it's led me to being like this, you know? Where I'm so big, I'm trapped, and I struggle a lot. Isaac's biggest struggles with his weight is being prisoner in his own body. He wants to go outside, but he can't. He gets out of breath. So it's like he's a prisoner in his own body and he struggles with that every day. I'm not really living. I'm not really doing anything at all. And I live in constant fear because I can feel what my weight's doing to me. And I'm afraid my body will give out at any second. That at any moment, my life could be over because I got too big and I hate being like this. It's unbearable and I always knew I would be bigger, but I let it get so much worse than I ever imagined. 